As an Australian couple sailed through the South Pacific earlier this year, they encountered this. As far as I could see, the sea had turned to this, this uh, field of stone. That stone is pumice from an underwater volcano that erupted near North Tonga. It initially formed a floating raft spanning 150 square kilometres. That's roughly the size of 20,000 football fields. If we were standing on the beach, for example, looking at this pumice, it would go to the horizon. Far denser. Denser? Yeah. Scott Bryant and Andrew Fletcher, both from Queensland University of Technology, are studying the raft and tracking its journey. That's the pumice raft just there on a course for Australia's northeastern coast. The pumice poses no real threat to people or the coastline here. Quite the opposite, in fact, because researchers believe that the billions of pieces of pumice that will survive this journey will make their way to the Great Barrier Reef, each serving as a vehicle for organisms to hitch a ride. Just last month, Australia's government downgraded the health of the reef, which has lost half of its coral, to very poor. This reef has suffered in the last few years six cyclones, two major coral bleaching events and various attacks by the predator crown of thorns starfish. So unsurprisingly, the outlook is that the condition has deteriorated. Uh, so it's very well developed. Brian says some of the pumice will be carrying pieces of new coral. Bringing billions and millions of individuals in at once to be able to find a new home add to the existing uh, populations that are here that have suffered over the last few years through bleaching, cyclones in particular, just giving that, that extra boost of new numbers to help replenish and restore the reef. The pumice raft continues to break up, which researchers say increases its chances of being dispersed along the Great Barrier Reef when it arrives next year. And while they stress it isn't a cure, they believe restocking some of the lost coral could help the reef to better cope with the threats it faces. Ragnabarro, CGTN, Brisbane.